we have the power supply and we're going to install it with the fan facing down so that it flows through the filter. Um, there's a little ledge here that sits on top of the top edge of the power supply to hold it in place. So we'll just flip it around, slide it in, and it just sits in place. And I, I'm using the four screws that the uh, came with the power supply instead of the ones that came with the chassis. Feels pretty good. A little loose, but maybe my oh my screws aren't fully tight. Yep. There we go. I have to look for one more screw down at the bottom there, but that gives us the installation. Okay, so we've installed cables uh, into the power supply. So the red ones are for the the. GPU and they'll go to the uh, the graphics card. Then we have two cables for a CPU. Um, and we have a peripheral cable that has the Molex connector on the end, and that will go to the uh, connector at the bottom, the power connector at the bottom of the of the um, motherboard here. The two power ones go at the top of the motherboard. And it's not clear that you can see them. There's there's one here, at the end of my fingertip, and the other one here uh, behind the the heatsink from this angle. All right. So then there's also uh, two SATA cables, and I put them in. And I kind of put them down toward the bottom to make things easy to route. Now then there's the the main the main motherboard ca ca cable, and this modular these modular connectors are really quite nice. That's the first time I've ever used one. And they just plug in and they just lock, lock latch in and they just click right on and they're quite nice. And you get and that goes to your motherboard connector. And they give you this little uh adapter thing here that you just plug on and then you can power up the power supply and test it and that's what I'll do next is just verify that uh, before I plug it into the motherboard and power up everything uh, just make sure that all the voltages come out right okay so we've got the power supply plugged in it's the fan is running we've got the uh, switch on connector plugged into the main the main adapter and then I, I went through and buzzed I buzzed uh, see if I can do this without shorting out the power supply so you can see I got 12 I got 12 volts and I went through and went through all the cables looked at them everything looks good the uh, uh, SATA cables there's 12 volts on one side and 3.3 on the other as far as I can tell. Go look up the, the pinouts. The Molex connectors, one side has 5 volts, uh, the other one has 12, ground the two pins in the middle. So um, so the power supply is looking looking pretty good. There's no load, so, um, but, um, and the cables seem to be good. So we're going to route all the cables and plug it in and see what happens. Okay, we're back. We've uh, routed some cables around. Uh, we put in the, the uh, main power motherboard connector. All the cables that were on the front, we routed through the po port opening here, uh, the big port opening into the back, and then brought them back through the other ports. Um, so they're nice and tidy on the back. It's really, haven't had a case like that and having, being able to run wires on the back really opens up and decongests everything. It's just wonderful. Um, so I put put the power cable 
main power cable here. Uh, you can see this white cable is the fan cable. There's two uh, power cables on the top of the motherboard you can't see because of the heat sink. Um, there's a another, let's see if you can see the corner of it. So you can see there's also a power cable down here. It's a Molex type and it's just sitting on top of the connector. There's three of them all attached in a row. So it's a little, um, a little uh, cluttery, but uh, it's a, a short connection because most of the cables are in the back. So wh while I was also running the cables, oh, we also have the power cables for the, um, the, the graphics card. Uh, again, I'll try to swing this back over so you can see. So you can see they come in through one of the ports here. They stick up a little bit. I'll have to maybe dress them a little bit better so that they don't hit the cover when the cover's on. I think they're just a little high. I don't want to bend them too hard because I don't want to put too much stress on the um, on the graphics card. I might re rerun them and see how if they come up this way, they might interfere with the airflow on the on the fan. So we'll we'll see what we can do here to to flatten those out. Maybe if a, a, a cable tie or something will help. I also ran all the all the chassis cables. So the, the um, chassis comes with uh, a little adapter where you can plug in the front panel switches, um, the power um, reset switch, power switch, the hard disk LEDs onto this little header. And that little header just plugs in like this here. Which is very, very handy. It feels a little wobbly. There we go. And it's very handy so you don't have to try to guide them in. You can do it kind of up in the air. That's really nice. Okay, we have a USB connection. And you can see the USB connector. Maybe we can't. Let's. The USB connection is right here. And it goes. There is a. Uh, there is a missing pin here. And so if you don't get it in right, it won't go in right. USB. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so now we have the, uh, okay, so this is USB 2. This is the USB 3, and that plugs in here. Like so, and those go to the front panel. We put on the all the front panel connectors here um, on the little header. We put on the USB 2. We put on the fan on channel 2, which is right here, that cool the uh, all the hard drives. Uh, this is a USB 3 connection to the front panel. And then the last thing over here is we have the high definition audio connection and that goes over here. Okay, so now that we have all these things connected, I can uh, kind of clean up the wires and, and um, get them to maybe sit a little bit neater than they are. We're gonna also got one more fan here and we're gonna put that on the front up here on channel one. One E, it's the bottom one, of course. All right, let's see if we can get our fingers in here. And on this big connector. I should probably should put this on first. All right. So now the, the middle fan here, which will be used to keep the um, GPU sort of airflow through this direction, will be tied to channel one. The back is channel three. 
and I think that gets us all the cables except for the the um, the hard drives, and we'll do those next.